Welcome back guys, here we are at the Fallen Angel. Let me tell you about uh, the game. I've played the, the game a little bit more and oh my God, they've made it so much harder. I mean, like staggeringly harder. Like to the point where I was starting to think that they actually stripped the fun out of it because it's just too damn hard. But I'm going having done a little bit so more talking to Aridia and she practice, told me about this ancient machine she had seen out in the zone, not too far from here. She said it looked like it had fallen from the sky, crashed into the ground, and it spread more than enough scrap around for us. Having had a little got some ghouls straight ahead. <laughs> yeah, okay. Selma. Uh having done a little bit more research and had a little bit more practice. Um, yeah, it is kind of sort of doable, but man, it is really seriously hard. Okay, the first thing I need to do is um, is level up the guys to the next level, and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, so, because there's a skill, there's an extra skill that we need. So let's take out this butcher. He's only four hit points, so he's an easy kill. Told you not to mess with me. Okay, I can show you now how much harder they've made this. Look at these things. We are heroes. Grey One will love us. Make us her favorites. Grey One is our leader, not our friend. She sees these goodies, she takes them, kills us. Ah, stick it up your nose hole. Grey One is a weak old <laughs> hag. Oh, I hope she didn't hear that. Did you hear that? Uh, I'm sorry, Grey One. <laughs> stick it up your nose hole. Um, just take a look at this. Compared to the demo, in the demo, the zone dogs had like four hit points. Um, I think the pyro was also, was either four or eight. Um, Chief Huss was, I think, 12. They have bumped up the hit points massively. And that makes things, like, just crazy difficult compared to what it was. Even that hunter, that hunter's 10 hit points. So, taking these guys out, like, first of all, like, taking guys down silently, so much harder than it was. And, like, taking out the big groups of enemies, nightmare. Like, serious nightmare. We'll, uh, we'll take out this butcher. This is another four, point, four hit point guy. This will get us our level up. So, well, let's move a bit closer so it's 100%. And we'll take him down. Boom. Level up. That's what we want. Okay, let's grab this loot. Let me turn the flashlight on now. Now, we have got 58 weapons parts. And I happen to know that up here there are some weapons parts. Up on this next level, there should be some weapons parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. So, now I've got enough to do two weapon upgrades. So, so that's what we're going to do. Now, is there anything else I want to do before I go back now I could be a bit sneaky and grab some extra stuff while I'm here ooh is this broken electronics some more scrap 200 scrap we've got now oh yeah the hipster fruit tester awesome grab that uh, let's turn that off now I do need to be a bit careful around here we've got a note here we can pick up alpha level clearance only okay not desperately important and some rare scrap oh but yeah this is why you got to little be a little bit careful because this hunter roams this area all right so having done that let's see i should be able to turn the torch on so i can move over this side um okay so we've got this big group to take down now the hunter hunter's not going to be a problem we can take him down the problem with that big group is not only have you got to take down that big group, but you've also got to take down, uh, if I can find him. Oh, here he is. This medbot. This medbot, 10 hit points, and he's got two armor, right? So you can't take him down in a single round. Well, actually you can. So I think, uh, I think I've got everything I want. So we're going to head back to the Ark, and we're going to gear up. Back to the Ark. Uh, 
I'm happy that you took on this mission to find Hammond. As you go deeper into the zone, questions will arise in your heads. You'll ask yourselves how this world became a wasteland. I'll tell you. A long time ago, a strange disease sprang up in a city not too far from here. A vicious disease. The eyes of the victims would go red. They would bleed from their ears. Hence its infamous nom de plume. The Red Plague. Within 40 years, the plague destroyed most of the human race. A quick rake of death, scraping across the face of the planet. It was nature's revenge. Revenge against the greed, the arrogance, the egos of humans who thought they were gods. We call these fools the Ancients. We don't worship the Ancients like the madman in the zone do. Because our salvation doesn't depend on false gods who live in the heavens. It doesn't depend on the mirage of paradise beyond the zone. Our salvation depends on us. Us means humans and mutants together. And as two of our resident mutants, I bet you wonder who you are. <laughs> Where you come from, I wonder too. We all do. When I found you in the zone, you were shivering, naked, memories completely wiped. We took you in, taught you, and now you serve us as our hunters, our trackers, our warriors. We are indebted to you, stalkers. Never turn on each other. Hear me? Yeah, I, I, I can't wait to get more of the lore because it sounds from that like because they don't know who the, who the, the mutants are or where they came from. So like, where did the mutants come from? Where did we come from? Farewell. I can't wait to find out Remember more about it. Your elder's guidance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wish he he talked less and faster. Right, we're gonna go to Delta's fix pit. Heard you met some of them ghouls in the weird outfits out there. They call them shamans or something. Their screams alert nearby ghouls and sends them running straight for you. Next time you see a shaman, shut them up before all hell breaks loose. That is very, very good advice. Okay, we are going to upgrade the crossbow. We can do two upgrades. We've got 60 gun parts. So we're going to upgrade the crossbow. Yeah. That gives us um, a minimum of five damage with a possible seven crit. And then we're going to upgrade the ancient pistol. We'll put a damage module on it to increase the crit. And then we will upgrade it. Yes, please. So that means we can we can guaranteed take down a 10 hit point mob silently, right? And if we use uh, Dux's Skull Splitter to get a guaranteed crit, then we can take down a 12 hit point mob silently, guaranteed. Okay, now that's still not going to allow us to take down the Bye. Uh, the medic bot. But, hey, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to go, let's go to uh, Prip's place. Good to see you again. Is that it? Okay, thanks Prip. Normally it has a big ramble. Okay, never mind. Uh, we are going to go with Pyro, we've got two artifacts to trade in. We're going to go with Pyromania. Adds one fire damage to Molotovs, which... Could come in pretty freaking useful. So we'll do that. Now, we could go tough guy. Extend the crew bleed out time by two turns. Which, as you'll see, I mean, the game is so much harder now. You are going to get shot. You are going to have guys bleeding out. And the extra two times would be really useful. The 20% um, the discount in Iridia's shop would be really useful. But I think all of that pales into total insignificance against getting Blaster Master. Grenade, increasing grenade damage by four and getting them up from doing four damage to doing eight damage is so huge that I don't think it can be ignored. I mean, Medic is also good. Um, Technophobe, not so much. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the one. And extending EMP grenade effect by one turn. Whew, that's pretty damn good as well. Anyway. 
We'll uh, we'll save that save up that artifact. I want those uh, improved grenades for damn sure. Let's pop into Iridia's shop. Now she's usually got plenty to My say. My favorite, the Molotov cocktail. Simple and effective. Light it, throw it, watch the world burn. <laughs> All right, I am going to buy a couple of grenades because having grenades is a good thing, basically. So we're going to buy a couple of grenades. I've spent some scrap. Um, Molotovs I'm not going to worry about for now, I don't think. Am I going to worry about Molotovs? I don't think I'm going to worry about Molotovs. No. Bye. Okay. Alrighty, so let's um, let's do some some gearing up and some uh, some mutations and all that kind of stuff. So first off, Selma, you're gonna go super tendons, which is awesome. Allows you to uh, reach high places. You can just jump up to there, which is awesome. And you're also gonna get tree hugger, which allows us to root enemies in place, which is staggeringly awesome and is gonna be needed for this uh, for this group. That's you, and then. Ducks, uh, you've got Skull Splitter. We're saving up for Moth Wings. I've got to say, I am really tempted to get uh, a point of health and uh, and a movement bonus. I, like, I am really, really tempted to get that. How, oh, how tempted am I to get that? I am staggeringly tempted to get that, but I think I'm going to save up for Moth Wings. Yeah. At least for now, I may I may change my mind about that, but we'll see. Now, the reason the, the reason I wanted to get at that extra level up is so that we can get Hog Rush. Hog Rush knocks out enemies for uh, for well one enemy for uh, for one turn, and that is huge right now, like super huge. Okay, that's that. Right, inventory. Right, you've got a Molotov and a grenade, Borman. Uh, you've got a smoke bomb and a grenade. You've got a Molotov and a grenade. So I tell you what, Ducks, we'll make sure that you've got a Molotov as well. So, yeah. So they've all got a Molotov and a grenade. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Uh, let's see. Armor-wise, we haven't got any spare armor. We've just got the Stalker Vest for Ducks. Which, um, now we can do something about that. And I think we're going to. So, yeah, let me show you this. Because I, I think this is this is kind of a good tip. There is an area down here. It is a level 25 area. It is way too high for us. But, there is some stuff in there that we can get. Which, um, which kind of gives us a bit of a leg up. Now, hopefully we're not going to need this stuff. But... But I think it's worth showing you because, especially if you're new to the game, like every little advantage is a good thing. So if we go over here, now this this was locked um, before we went up to the Ark, but now we get a zone key so that we can actually go in here. <laughs> and this takes us to a place called the Iron Serpent. <laughs> and it is freaking scary, let me tell you. This place is pretty darn high level. Now, it's um, it's worth having a good old scrounge around in uh, in areas like this, certainly this one and any areas like it, because you will get extra bits of stuff. Certainly it's some extra scrap, you might get some extra gun parts, and you can sometimes even find extra items. And that's what we're that's what we're looking for right now. Now, there is an extra item that we can get. I'm just having a quick look around just to see if there's any, like, scrap or gun parts that we can pick up. Which would be kind of cool. Yeah. Not a lot around here at the moment. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, broken gun. Weapons parts. Oh, a chem flare. Chem flares. Let me show you. Um, chem flares can be used to light up enemies, which gives you a plus 25 aim bonus, which is kind of nice. We'll give that to, yeah, we'll give that to Selma for now, since she hasn't got anything else to hold. And, and whoa, okay. Zone dog. Now look at the freaking hit points on this thing. 24 hit points. Oh my Lord. All right. 
got some more weapons parts. Look, we're already up to 13 weapons parts. And that's just from having a bit of a sneak around. Now there's a mother zone dog there. Look at that, 30 hit points. Oh my God. Now I can sneak around um, further and deeper into this zone, but right now I'm not going to. Now this zone dog is wandering around exactly kind of where I want to go. So I need to wait for him to, to go away. There he goes. Alrighty. Go away, doggy. Don't want to play for you. And look, this is what I'm looking for, this chest here. This is not bad for a bit of free loot. Look at this, Axe Warrior armor. Two armor, four hit points. At this stage of the game, that's huge. So, we'll grab that. And then, we'll have a, a quick... Damn, so dogs. Ooh. They were smaller in the old days, dumber too. We got no weapons, no dogs tackle. Weapons in the forest, we are the kings of the zone. Not then go to the zone dog and tell that to his face. You want to get eaten like a little bam bam and treepo? Go for it. Yeah, yeah, me, follow me. Go ahead then, back horse. So, this is like a house with wheels? <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. As you can see, you can pick up a fair amount of stuff just having a a little explore and hunt around. Look alive. We got company. Ooh. I heard of these before. Never saw them. Weird how they're all connected. But they got wheels. A lot of them. Look at that tank. Things move. 30 hit Something's points, 3 right armor. There. Oh my god. How the hell do you kill those? Answer, you level up, you get better weapons. Alright, I think we can, uh, yeah, I think we can speed up a little bit now. Right, I think that's everything that we want from around here, which is pretty sweet. Now, do you, like, do you have to do this? Do you have to come into this area? Nah. But, like, if you can get some kind of extra free stuff, like, why the hell wouldn't you? I want a bit more scrap. Um, there is more of the area that you can investigate, but to be honest, for now, that'll do. Right, so let's get the hell out. In fact, I can just, we can just go. We can go now to, where are we going to? We're going to the Fallen Angel, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Travel to the Fallen Angel. Ah, uh, man, I, you know, after playing the demo, I thought, oh, when the game comes out, oh, I'm going to be able to blast through this and it's going to be so easy. And like, oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. It is I can't believe, actually, how much harder they've made the game. And and like I said, I do worry that it's going to take some of the fun out of it. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Alrighty. Um, let's turn the old torch off. So, first job is to take down this med bot. Now, the thing is, I think I actually want to be on the other side of this med bot. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go around to the other side. Let's turn the torch on. We could trot round to the other side. Whoa, as long as I don't get discovered. We can go around to the other side and it'll just be a little bit easier. Oh careful, careful. So anything about having the torch on. You move faster but their discovery ranges are huge. Alrighty. Now yeah, we can get a bit closer. Oh, bit more scrap. Woohoo! Alrighty, so. Where's Mr. Medbot? Here's Mr. Medbot. Now, he is just far no, enough I away. I think that's a robot. An actual working robot. Now, I just want to make sure that everybody's as like as close as I can get them, really. Ah, come on. You know what? That'll do. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Or in this case, boar. Okay. 
what we're going to do, Selma. Now, the reason for attacking from this side rather than from that side is that there's a log here that will uh, will provide him with cover. We don't want that. So, let's see. Uh, Selma, yeah, you're going to move over here. And then you're going to pop him. Okay, so you're actually going to do three damage. Not today, dick wife. Boom, silent. Now, but oh, by the way, I'll just sh I'll show you this. You see those lines? Can you see that the white line, uh, there's a white line going to the med bot, and then the other lines are red. What that means is that if, you, if I move to that point, the med bot would discover me, but the other mobs wouldn't. If it's a red line, they won't see you moving to that location. But it doesn't matter, we're not going over there anyway. But we're going to move over here. And uh, yeah, move over there. Now, I'm not going to use Skull Splitter. Um, now, I could use Skull Splitter, right? It's up. But that's going to allow me to do seven damage. But that's not going to be enough. Because two will be removed for the armor. So I'll only do five damage. Well, that means we're screwed. Now it's getting fun. So now it's going to be loud, right? Ah, except that because we've got Hog Rush. <laughs> um, we can do this still silently because hog rush hog rush does make some noise but we're just far enough away to use hog rush without it alerting the rest of the camp so let's move in here and you know I'm, I'm actually wishing that I'd, I'd brought Bormin in from the other side because I don't want him knocked back well, let's let's just do it now and, and see what happens. Yeah, I should really I should have brought Bormin on from the other side so that if he was going to get knocked, he'd not get knocked this way. Oh, I hope this is still going to work. Oh, we destroyed the cover. It's fine. All right. So now, our turn again. These guys are still don't know what the hell we're doing, and we can finish up the mid bot. <laughs> Selma, um, you're up. are you 100% from there? I think you probably are. Yeah. Okay. Finish him off. Okay, how that is silent, that explosion, I have no idea. But it is, and I'm not going to complain about it. So, Selma, grab the loot. Rare scrap. Beautiful. We have got a chest over here. Open that up. Stalker vest. Woohoo! And... Broken gun. Broken gun. And what do we get? And four weapons parts. Look at that! We're up to 27 weapons parts already. That is pretty freaking awesome. Now, at this point, at this point, we're going to have to take down this camp, I suppose. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I knew there, I, I knew there was something else that we needed to do. So let's, um, let's, whoa. How far does this hunter come? Oh, he comes right over there. Go away. Right. Get over here. Now, we only need Selma and Ducks, but we're going to go and take out that hunter. Because we definitely don't want him joining in. Ten hit point mob. We know that we can take him down silently, so not an issue. Get a little bit closer. And you know what? That'll do fine. Alright, cool. So Selma. 100%. Five damage. Boom. And ducks. Move you up. Oh that's 75. That's 75. 70. How is that 75? What about Oh that's a hundred. Good lord. Cause, Cause it's got a little stump. What well but why wasn't why wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know why Selma had a hundred from there. Okay, whatever. But it's hundred percent. And bye bye! And we set your corpse serves on you fire. Right. Does serve him right. Shouldn't be here. Shouldn't be nasty. Shouldn't be a nasty person. 
Two more weapon spots. Oh, we're up to 29. All right, now we can have a bit of a search around in here, which is kind of cool. We've got another chest. And we get... <laughs> where it is immune to critical hits. Which is pretty damn sweet. And there's a... Well, we can investigate uh, this. That's funny. I saw a storybook in the Ark about the ancients. They were wearing suits of armor just like this. Oh, more gun parts. That means we can do another weapon upgrade. Now, I could pop back to the Ark and do, uh, do a weapons upgrade. But I'm not going to. Not going to. Oh, broken electronics. Woohoo! Back up to 200 scrap. Okay, so now it's just a case of uh, moving into position and and starting this fight. Okay, so I've got I've got Selma hidden behind this tree here, and then Borman is going to move over behind this tree over here, and then I've got ducks hidden behind the helicopter over here. He can just get into that spot. So, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Now, there are many ways that you can do this. I'm sure there are hundreds of ways that you can do this. But it's about it's about conserving resources. Now, there would be a really easy way that I could do this. Um, let's turn it around so that you can actually see like the hit points and stuff. So, the pyro needs to go down on the first on the first turn for sure, okay? So, I could throw in two grenades and a molotov, right? And that would kill the pyro. Four damage, four damage, two damage. That would kill the pyro, no problem. But that's a lot of resources to use up. So I'm going to try and do this using one grenade and one med kit, right? Maybe. I might not need the med kit. Now, I'm in two minds about whether to do a certain thing or not. And that is with uh, with Bormin. I could have given Bormin the arm, the Bormin the armor, but I kind of want to want to show you that you you kind of don't absolutely need to. Um, I tell you what I should have done. I should have given him the stalker vest. Hang on a second. Let's uh, if we go to the inventory. That I should do. Um, so let's see. I think Dux has yeah Dux has got it at the moment. Oh, I've got oh, I've got an extra stalker vest, haven't I? Yeah. So I tell you what, we'll just. So even if we didn't get this Axe Warrior armor, right, I'll show you that it'd still be okay. So let's get out of there and we'll do the ambush. Okay, so how do we do this? Let's start off with Selma. Selma is gonna start off by rooting everybody. Now you wanna do this first because we wanna get a couple of kills so that we can uh, she can use it again on the next turn. So, let's root all of these guys in place. See how it moves from enemy to enemy. Love that. Alright, so they're all rooted in place. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Now, let's uh, lob in the one grenade that we're going to use. Which is going to go right in about there. Covers all the enemies. Boom. Now, that kills the Marauder outright. Beautiful. Okay, now. Yeah, Bormin. Bormin is going to move into here. Now, I could keep him at distance, right, and take a chance, but he's only got like, uh, well, he's out of range. He's out of range of the, uh, the pyro. He needs to be up close. So we're going to move him in close. Now, this is going to put him in range of Chief, Ho Chief Hoos. Chief Hoos actually has the same weapon the uh, the gaper that Bormin has. Has he got actually? Is it a gaper or is it a scatter gun? I think it might be a scatter gun. But either way, it's a close range shotgun. Now I could stay at range and not risk getting hit, but we we need to take this pyro down. And like I said, this this way I can serve resources. I saved myself one grenade and one molotov for for a med kit, which is a good trade. So let's move up to here. That gives me a hundred percent on the pyro. Hundred percent on the pyro. Knocks him back. And that is that. Which is why I wanted Bormin coming in from this way, because I wanted to knock him back. 
And... Oh, it hasn't set them on fire. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, never mind. Um, so, well, what next? Next, Borman. Uh, ducks, rather. What are you going to do, ducks? You are going to shoot. Uh, let's see. Oh, first thing you're going to do is move over one. Because he, he, he's got no shot from where he is at the moment. But he, if, he, he, if he moves just one further over, like there, you're not in cover. But there, he's in full cover. And then, take out Chief Hoose. Now, I could, I could potentially take out one of the dogs, but they're not a risk because they're Malise and they're rooted. So next turn, they're doing nothing. So we'll just take out Chief Hoose. Or, or start to do some damage to Chief Hoose. Right, now this is the only risk. Okay. He did four damage. Even if he crits, he won't kill Borman, right? So it's not that big a risk, to be honest. Now we got two kills. So if we go back to Selma, go on, Selma. Uh, Tree Hugger is back up, so we can root these guys again. Boom, boom, boom. Those guys are rooted. And uh, we'll do. Should we do ducks next? Let's do ducks next. So I can either use the crossbow or I can switch to the splitter. The sorry, the stinger. Uh, the stinger only does like four though, so probably best reload. And let's see, we can take a nice chunk off Chief Hoose. Let's do that. Let's do that. Boom. Now it's getting fun. And then that leaves us with Bormin. Now, if you move up to here, you've only got a 75. But if you get a bit closer, that gives you 100% on Chief Hoose. Remember, the dogs are rooted. They can't move next turn. So just move up to there. And bye-bye, Chief Hoose. <laughs> Boom. Bye-bye. <Yeah. laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better myself, ducks. So, um, so yeah, all we've got to do now is kill the uh, two zone dogs. So, let's see. Um, just just take a shot. Boom. They're rooted next turn. That's their turn. And now it's us again. <laughs> so, 100%. Kill that sign dog. Boom. Yeah! Yeah! Baby! <laughs> um, let's see. Have you got a... you got a shot on that sign dog? I think you have, haven't you? Pretty sure. actually, let's let's just double check that we've got a shot on that zone dog. Ah, oh, it's seventy five from there. Okay, you know what? I think uh, I think Borman can figure, finish this off without us needing ducks. Borman, yeah, yeah, you can finish this off. So you move in. Oh, you need to reload. Hmm. Okay, if you switch to the stinger, yeah, let's do it like this. So that's a hundred percent. Move up. And pop. What you got? Good job. And then ducks can do exactly the same. Move up. Hundred percent. Bye, bye, doggy. <laughs> yeah, you did it. <laughs> awesome, freaking sauce. All right. So I only used one grenade. Now Bullman is injured. But we can just go to our inventory and use up one med kit and cha-ching, fully healed. So there you go. That is how to do Fallen Angel. Nice and easy. Uh, let's see. Oh, we've got the uh, Explorer Helm. See, I sh actually, I should have given him that. I forgot to give him that because that would have made him immune to critical hits anyway. So the worst he's gonna, you're going to take in that scenario is that you're going to take five damage, which is which is kind of nothing. He looks really cool in that. Um, you know what? Let's get let's give you the axe warrior armor. Should I give, actually should I give you the axe warrior armor or should I give it to Selma? I'm kind of tempted to give it to Selma. She's going to look badass in this. Whoa, ho, ho. that's pretty badass. But that gets her up to like I think um, ten hit points, and then Bormin's got ten. And then poor old Ducks has only got eight. But, yeah, looking in pretty darn good shape. Um, I Really, I should give Selma a, uh, a second weapon. 
but we can do that in a minute because we're going to get something really cool. Uh, let's turn the light on so we can move quickly. Let's get some loot. Got some scrap. Got some more scrap. Over here, medikit. That replaces the medikit that we just used. So we've still got five. Uh, another chem flare. Nice. Uh, some common scrap. Couple of weapons parts. And what's this? More scrap. Okay, so this is um, this is the first bit of loot, and this is awesome loot. But the big loot is yet to come, like the really, really important, mega awesome loot. This oh no, this is now this is the awesome loot. The other one's pretty good, but this is staggering. Mimir needle pistol. It's silent, which means we've now got silent weapons on all three. That is. Huge, absolutely huge. Uh, let's see. So we want to give that for sure, for certain. To uh, um, how are we going to do this? I yeah, I think we'll we'll get rid of the stinger. You'll have the needle pistol, and then in, as a secondary weapon, you'll have the gaper. Sweet. And then, oh no, we already we already got the loot over here, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, we already got the loot over here. Awesome. So there you go. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have uh, a bit of a good old scavenge around in this zone, see if I can find any more any more scrap or weapons parts, and then we'll move back to the high road. Okay, I finished scavenging the whole zone. Didn't find anything great. Get over just here. just some scrap. So now we journey back to the high road. Uh, if I can figure out where the path is, <laughs> where's the damn, where's the damn path? I lost the path. Where's the? Oh, it's that way. It is that way. So easy to get turned around. He said, searching for an excuse. Where is it? Over here, somewhere, somewhere over here. What the hell? Oh, there it is. There it is. I knew it was there somewhere. All right, so we go back along the um, the secret path. And then we're going to be facing our next batch of tough enemies. Now, I thought... Like, do you remember at the, at the end of the last episode, I said, um, "Oh, we'll we'll route through this. We'll do uh, we'll do the fallen angel. We'll clear the high road uh, and the the cave of fear, and move on to Sea of Titans." Um, yeah, <laughs> that, we are not going to be moving that rapidly because let me. I mean, let, let me show you the next group of mobs. Uh, let's let's split yeah. up, and I'll I'll go up with with ducks and just show you because the next group of mobs is even tougher than the last group that we faced. And the last group were pretty damn tough. I don't think we want Rodhead over there to call his buddies. Let's stay hidden. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it there because there's some, there's some really nice chat that goes on amongst the ghouls in the, in the, uh, when, I, when I move further, like a little bit closer. Uh, I think we'll save that for the, next, uh, for the next episode. We'll leave it there, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. The next one is going to get interesting. We've got a... A 16 hit point shaman to take down, as well as some hunters and a medbot. It's gonna be it's gonna be bad news. I'll catch you for that. Peace out.